Mandra is at the centre of a reheated plan to drug test welfare recipients. It's one of three trial locations around the nation chosen by the Morrison government in its third attempt to get the legislation through Parliament. If you're on welfare and taking drugs, the federal government wants to know. And Mandra is in its sights. People who are unemployed are three times more likely to be using methamphetamine. So when Parliament resumes on Monday, it'll make a third attempt to trial drug testing for welfare recipients. To identify people who have uh, substance abuse issues and to help them deal with those issues. There are three different tests, um, including a saliva test, a urine test and a hair follicle test. Anyone who fails a drug test will have their income managed through a debit card. In doing so, we deny the currency of drug dealers, which is cash. Mandra's mayor isn't happy, saying, I strongly encourage decision makers to review the evidence in trials in other locations. These trials may be one strategy for addressing addiction, but substance abuse issues are massively complex and require a multifaceted approach. While Mantra does have a significant drug problem, it's not the only one. Balga had 327 drug offences last year and Armadale was by far the worst, with almost 500, while Mandra had 348 offences. But there has been a backlash online, with many calling for our politicians to also face drug testing. Jackie Lambie is demanding that too, in return for supporting the bill in the Senate support the government needs for it to pass. Look, I, I'm more than happy to, um, to undergo drug testing. But will her colleagues agree? Lucy McLeod, Nine News.